I mean, what a blast. I am so thrilled. I, I get to guest host for Ellen. Can you imagine that? This is going to be bananas. So fun. Now, you may be wondering why I'm hosting a daytime talk show. I'm actually I'm doing research for my next movie. It's called uh, Avengers Take a Lesbian Cruise. Um, so it's just doing my job. Oh, I know a lot of you may know me as Iron Man. <laughs> And you know, in case you didn't know, I'll be revealing all sorts of uh, trade secrets here today. Uh, the backstory was there was this wealthy playboy. He wouldn't take advice from anyone. And then he was asked to play Iron Man. <laughs> yep, that's what happened. Uh, and now, for the first time in a while, I don't know, there's some promotion going on. I'm playing a new character, someone I've always wanted to play, Dr. Doolittle. <laughs> yes. The movie's called Doolittle. Interestingly enough, it's about a man who talks to animals. Uh, it's live action, but all the animals are done with computers. Uh, they use rotoscoping and CGI and uh, LOL and WTF. <laughs> I, have no, I don't know. I have no idea how they do it. But it's incredible what they can do. When I was growing up, if you wanted to talk to animals, you know, you had to do it the old-fashioned way. You'd take a bunch of mushrooms and go to the zoo. <laughs> Uh, yeah, way, way back then. Uh, now, whenever I do a film, I do a, a ton of research. So for this one, I had to learn as much as I could about you know all the different animals and species and phylum. And the movie's rated PG, so a lot of the things I learned couldn't be included in the movie because it's a kids movie. But I thought you know that doesn't mean I, I can't share it with you if you're into that. Yeah. Here's the first animal I want to tell you about. Um, it is the uh, Argentine bluebird duck. The bluebird duck is only 16 inches tall, but it's hiding something under the water. <laughs> the male has a very long uh, pool noodle, <laughs> water gun, no, no, sea cucumber. Let's call it a, we're going to call it a rudder. His rudder is 17 inches long, and it's shaped like a corkscrew. See, so the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. <laughs> Just when you thought you might be jealous. The bluebird duck is, it's like a cross between Tommy Lee and a sommelier. <laughs> uh, here's the next animal. It is a, so cute, you would think. It's a root rat, which was also uh, coincidentally my CB handle when I used to drive big rigs. Um, <laughs> The male root rat mates with the female for up to 12 hours, and then shortly after he finishes, he drops dead. <laughs> Which is why Sting knows to stop after 11 hours. You gotta <laughs> follow the, the root rat. Here's our next one. That's the animal known as... That's called a Chris Hemsworth. I don't know how that got in there, but uh, coincidentally, honestly, I've seen the guy we did uh, costume changes also shaped like a corkscrew. <laughs> yeah, he's got something special, Dan. I'm not. Right on. Finally, here's another interesting creature. Uh, this is an orb spider. I know I've been talking a lot about rudders and pooled noodles and undercover brothers, but now I just want to talk about the penis. <laughs> the male orb spider has something special about its extra leg. It's detachable. The male spider takes it off and leaves it behind to have sex. And you thought your husband was lazy. <laughs> but there's a reason for this. If the male stays to mate with the female 75% of the time, the female will kill the male and eat it afterwards. <laughs> she literally eats her ex. This is also seen <laughs> with another species, the Taylorus swiftus. <laughs> Or, no, 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 she's actually not cruel. She just writes a song about you. She's a sweet species. I hope you've learned a little something today. And that is animals uh, be cray cray. So it's, it's oddly enough, eight years ago you were here and you were campaigning for Hillary Clinton. And now you're here again, and I assume you're campaigning for Hillary Clinton. <laughs> yes, I have not had a change of heart. I'm a, I'm a big Hillary supporter. But also in the... Yes, thank you. 
but also I've, in the past few years, spent a lot of my energy working um, to register young people and as many minority voters as possible to get registered to vote and to show up at the polls and to be educated voters. And, and I've been working with a nonpartisan organization and my heart is deeply, deeply in, in registration and that people engage and that we show up. More than ever right now, more than ever. Good for you. Yes, thank you. Yes. I, I hope that everybody here is listening to that, and I hope you're getting through to a lot of people, because this is a very, very important election that yeah. everyone needs to be very educated on, and, and we need a lot of people to vote. Yeah. So, uh, yes. Um, or else it's scary. <laughs> <laughs> or else I'm real scared. Um, so, uh, so you just got back from camping, but I saw the pictures. I've never camped, but this, does, this looks like I would camp if this is what camping is. <laughs> I saw pictures. Where did you go? Uh, we went camp. My husband and I went camping in Catalina. And I'm born and raised in California, but I never really explored outside of my zip code. That wasn't like some, my family wasn't an outdoorsy camping kind. Isn't he cute? Your husband? <laughs> Very cute. I like him. I'll keep them. Um, and, and so we went camping, and I'm look, I'm wearing a backpack. There wasn't anything in the backpack. It was just like an empty backpack. And somebody else carried all of our food and stuff to the campsite. So somebody told me I'm not allowed to call it clam gamp what camping, I can't talk. That I have to call it glamping. Yes, I've heard about glamping, which is something I would do. So you're watching sunset and, yeah. <laughs> and having uh, some wine and cheese, and then you what? Do you sleep in tents though? We slept in tents. Uh huh. So it wasn't very cold because it's beautiful California. I mean, look, if I could camp like that, I'll go camping all. I would. I've never been to Catalina. I've never been on it's that island. Gorgeous. I, I, I'm, beautiful. I should go one day. Yeah. Let's do the show from Catalina one day. <laughs> Wow. Twitch is going to read a category, and then you'll have five seconds to name three things and then hit the buzzer to stop the clock. I will go first to show you how it's okay. done. Okay. It's very hard. Okay. Okay, Ellen, name three things that need to be washed regularly. Uh, my dog, uh, myself, Portia. Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, Bradley, oh, name geez. three things that you haven't washed in a while. Uh, sneakers, my hat, and uh, a car. Ooh. Nice. You okay. should wash your car. Yes. <laughs> Ellen, name three of your favorite body parts. Uh, my, uh, <laughs> my foot, my toes, my nose. I, that's, that's All right. I, I don't I'm really, I'm not crazy about any of it. Good. Bradley, name three things you say to your dogs when no one is around. Uh, I love you, uh, uh, you're my little poochie, and um, uh, uh, kiss me. Oh, what? Kiss yeah, me. yeah. <laughs> Well, because I really, I, I yeah. say a lot of things to them, yeah. so I had to, Yeah, uh, You tell them to kiss you? D is that what I said? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I must, yeah. 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 <laughs> don't it's, you It's funny that, that, no, you don't you just have to ask a dog to oh, just do I it. Always, I, oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Kiss me. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're like this. You're like, give me a kiss. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Maybe it's Italian. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Ellen, yeah. name three things you say when you're early to a party. Oh, I'm the first one here, again. Um, can I help you light the candles? Look at that music. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that music. <laughs> Look at that music. Look at that music. Oh, that was as bad as Kiss Me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Bradley, name three things you say when you lose something. Uh, oh, damn it, uh, where are they? And come back, please. <laughs> you lose that you're saying come back to uh, like a, I don't know like a little duck when I was a kid and I was like oh come back duck yeah. it was a little duck we found in the in the uh, creek by our house wow you went way back I did wow <laughs> <laughs> okay that was quick you yeah. weren't expecting that. no I know <laughs> you flashed through the entire life and remembered that duck it's the that truth. you lost. my mom's in the green room she'd be like I remember that duck yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay Ellen name three things that are big um, a, a, a truck, uh, the world, and the ocean. Nice. All right. Bradley, name three things that are small. Uh, uh, a pea, a, uh, a, a rice, and uh, a piece of hair. <laughs> a piece of hair. Like a little piece of hair. Yeah. You know. Not a, a piece <laughs> like of... Like if you're trimming your beard, it's like yeah. a little piece of yeah. hair. Yeah, like I should trim, yeah. See, yeah. I should oh, trim that. All right. This is okay. nerve-wracking. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and the, this thing is also, like the distance. Yeah. All right, Ellen, name three things you do when you're home alone. Uh, uh, you know, watch TV, read, uh, work out. 
Okay, Bradley, name three things you watch on TV after your daughter goes to bed. Uh, Game of Thrones, uh, 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 oh, geez, Game of Thrones and Game of Thrones, all the episodes. <laughs> <laughs> It's different episodes. Yeah, it's different, it's different, it's different episodes. episodes. Yeah, yeah. How about this? Arya is can be a White Walker. That's my thought for next episode. Oh, really? Well, think about it. She can she can take the thing of a White Walker. Yes. Game of Thrones watchers here. Yeah, no, no. Right? Might yeah. be a way in. Yep. My friend texted me that today. That's anyway. That's a good idea. Right? Wow. Okay. Uh, Ellen, name three words for making love. Uh, doing it. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. Doing it. Doing it. <laughs> yes, we are. We are doing it. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that was amazing. What would you have said? Uh, 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 what would I have said? Uh, uh, doing it. Yeah. <laughs> There's, what else do you need to say? That's yeah, it. yeah, yeah. we're doing, doing it. it. We're doing it, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> As you're doing it, you yeah, say that, like, you yeah, say yeah. that. I just keep saying that. Yeah, we're doing just it. Just acknowledging yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. As it's happening. And then the other person says, yes, yeah, we yes, are. Yes, we are. <laughs> All yeah. right. Holy yeah. brother, we're gonna come back. It is. So good to see you again. The pleasure so is mine, bro. Absolutely. I, I'm, I'm such a fan of you, a fan of the show. And uh, it's okay. This isn't the table. This is not you the scare table. Wait, let me, yeah. let, let me set this up. Okay. Last two times I was on this show, they scared the crap out of me. Yeah. People dropped out of the ceiling. Yeah. Somebody yeah. popped out of the table in the middle. <laughs> right there. <Yeah. laughs> so, so your boy is intent on not having the crap released from his body. It's staying in, so I'm just checking everything out. Yeah, I get it. Okay. I get it. I, 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 it. Yeah, you get a little paranoid around here. You're bit. checking every, every corner. Yeah, the moments you're here. But you know, I'm not going to do you like that. Okay. I, I'm not. I, I promise I you, I'm not going to do you like bro. that. Yeah, I'm not going to do you like All that. Right. I got you. But I got to ask, though, you, you, you like to scare your wife at home, though. Yeah, of course I do. OK. Um, <laughs> every good husband does. And like, I think what it is, I walk with like a light step, so I'm not a heavy walker to begin yeah. with. And my wife has this interesting habit. She's an only child, is mm -hmm. Ryan Michelle Bathay. I love her to pieces. But she talks to herself all the time. <laughs> like, full-on <laughs> conversation. She'll ask a question, and then she'll turn and start to answer that question. <laughs> and so, not even trying to scare her, but I was like, let me see what Ryan's talking to Ryan about today. <laughs> and so I walk up, and she'll be talking, and she'll be like, oh! And I'll be like, what's the matter? She's like, well, why'd you scare me? I'm like, woman, You've been talking to yourself for the past 17 <laughs> minutes, and I've been posted up just listening. Just listening, yeah, yeah absolutely. She's yeah, fascinating. 100%. Now, speaking of your wife, you just celebrated your 16th wedding anniversary. We did, and that's huge. Thank you very much. That's huge. Appreciate it. Now, I know y'all met in college. I got to ask, how did you propose? That's a good question. OK, so I was living in New York, and mm -hmm. she was living in LA. So we dated long distance for a year until I moved out to LA, and mm -hmm. I was like, all right, we're going to be together now. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to propose we were going to fly home to St. Louis, Missouri, because we were both born in St. Louis in the same hospital. St. Oh, Louis wow. in the house? Wow. OK, Louis. Midwest, you know what it is. <laughs> um, so I told her, I said, listen, I want to go to the beach before we go home, because you get to be on the beach all the mm -hmm. time. And I was going to propose on the beach. And I had uh, researched when the sun goes down and everything. And when you, when you buy that ring, bruh, mm -hmm. maybe you can feel me on this it starts to burn a hole yes. in your pocket. Yes. Because you're like, I know she's going to like this yeah. so much, and I want to give it to her, yeah. right? So we're driving to the beach. We're driving down the 10 to Santa Monica. It's Christmas Eve, and it is pea soup thick fog. Mm -hmm. Like, could not see the sun to save your life. <laughs> it's about 52 degrees. Mm -hmm. It's cold. <laughs> And I'm like, well, we're going to go to the beach. And she's like, why are we going to the beach, Sterling? It's 52 degrees. <laughs> and I was like, well, because I just want to go to the beach. She's like, oh, whatever. <laughs> we, we get to the beach, man, look out at the ocean. You can't see the ocean. You can't see the sun. <laughs> Nothing. And I brought this blanket. I was like, well, you want to set up right here? She's like, it doesn't matter where we set up, Sterling. We can't see anything anyway. <laughs> I lay this blanket <laughs> down, bruh. I'm shivering. I'm like, I'm trying to like keep it together. I said, you know, you're like my best friend, and I'm so happy to start this new phase of my life with you, being out here in LA together. 
And, um, and she's like, that's great, I'm, that's wonderful, Stone. She's like chilling there, it's like, and I, I get down on my knee and I pull the ring out and I say, I wonder if you would do me the honor of being mine. And then I don't even know if I got the whole thing out. She just looks at the ring and she starts going, oh my God, 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 oh my God. And I put it on her finger, she slipped it on, she's like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And then at some point I said, is that a yes? She's like, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so it worked out. It worked, it worked out. out. Not only did it work out, she gets on the phone and calls every female member of her family for like the next 40 minutes. And I'm cold, and after a minute, she's just looking at the ring. I was like, you want to get something to eat? She's like, yeah, let's get something to eat. And we went up to the promenade and got something to eat. So yeah, it worked out. That's amazing. It does <laughs> work out. Absolutely. Thank you, Absolutely. I love Thank that. You. I love that. So you have been acting since you were a, a small child? Yes. Since what age? I was, I think I was six years old when I did my first school play. Oh. That kind of stuff. Nothing yeah. professional. Nothing yeah. professional. So uh, you've worked with a lot of, I loved you in Drive. I thought that movie was fantastic. And you and Ryan Gosling together was wonderful. And he is, uh, he's intense, right? Right, yeah. Yeah. Like more intense than, he seems sweet and calm, but he's intense. He's sweet and calm, but he's a tough, tough guy. Yeah. I am. Um, we had a great, well, it's always fun to hit people for your job, but um, we had a, a one scene where uh, I had to give him a really big smack across the face and, and he said, just do it, just go for it, don't hold back. And so he got 17 really big slaps across the face. Why did it take 17 takes to get a slap across the face? I don't know, I was, no, I wasn't quite getting it right. His reaction wasn't quite, I don't know, but it was... Um, wow. Mm. Well, how did he not look like he had already been slapped on the next tape? If you if you hit him that hard, wouldn't he have like a big hand mark on him? I guess he's got like tough, manly Ryan Gosling skin. Ah, the, <laughs> the manly skin. It looks like it's tough, yeah. manly, manly skin. Yeah, and then Great Gatsby, you worked with Leo, yes. who and, and that was a great movie as well. <laughs> and he taught you a red carpet trick? Oh, yeah. So um, I'm horrible at having my photo taken and, uh, and I've always been terrified of it. And um, he taught me this great thing. We were in Cannes and there were like a thousand photographers and I was freaking out. And he said, look at their wristwatches. And if you, so you look at every photographer who's taking a photo of you, if you look at their wrist and look at their wristwatches, it, it sort of gives you this sort of mysterious air, like you're not focusing on the photo. And ah. so I started doing that. Except when there's a million flashes going off, how can you see anything, much less a wristwatch, next to a flash? Good point. <laughs> I, I'm stumped. I know you're thinking that, and I'm asking that question for you. I don't know. <laughs> so you're not looking at anything, are you? No, well, I, I, I'm tr I mean, I think everyone's privately trying to zone yeah. out of the experience. It, it, it is a strange thing to try to act like that's a, a normal experience. Yeah, I mean, I'm intensely uncomfortable most of the time, but um, I have a sort of one stance where I stand, I cross my legs, I put my arms down, and I sort of stare, and that's all I do. I've tried other things in the past. I tried a, a hand on a hip once, and it felt so ridiculous, and I saw the photo, <laughs> and I, I've just never done it since, because it was miserable. That was, oh, oh my God! That's... <laughs> Like, like before you got out of the car, you thought, I'll put my hand on my hip. You oh, actually thought about it? I was saying it. I was like, oh, go on, I'll give it a go. You know, I've never done over the shoulder. I don't do that. Good. Ever. No, I, I don't understand say, over that. Over the shoulder. And I go, no, I don't do that. Good, <laughs> good. And that's the picture they take. No. <laughs> and Emma Thompson, who is, by the way, just a fabulous person. I love her so yes. much, but she's fantastic. Um, was it confusing, the two Emmas on the set? Did one of you get a nickname or? <laughs> they did. Yeah, it's a good question because we we have had a lot of different nicknames in our time together. There's been Emma T and Emma S. There's Thompson and Stone, which I love because it sounds like Starsky and Hutch. Like we should be back to back on the movie poster, kind of like looking yeah. at each other with it. You know? Yeah, with but a gun like it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, and then and then my real name is Emily, so sometimes Emma and Emily. But you know, there's yeah. there's many different variations. No one called you Boo Boo. Sometimes. Some people called me. Okay, good. <laughs> That's what I would have called you. Um, we have, I don't know if Emma talks about it a lot, but we have a bathroom dedicated in Emma's honor um, because, see, there it is. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's the Lou. It's her Lou. Um, do you have anything named after you? Has anyone done that for you? Um, no, I don't, I don't have anything named after me. And now I'm, you know, 
really sad about it now that I've seen that plaque. Yeah. I'm, well, now I'm devastated to not have my own Lou. You, you, you know what? We knew you would be what? sad about it, and I don't want you to be sad. That's not what we do here. We make people happy, so we're going to fix it. Take a look in this bathroom. <gasps> look what you have. Oh, what is it? It's what a, is it? It's a paper towel dispenser. It's your <laughs> very own. I'm such a big fan of paper towels. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is perfect for me. Everyone uses them when they're in there. I mean, not one person is not going to look at that and think of you. <laughs> that, means, that means the world to me. I can't thank you enough. Yeah, well, we knew it would. So as you see, Brittany was just here. We were backstage, and uh, the three of us. And that was, how, how long has it been since, because you were in the Mickey Mouse Club together, just to remind you. Um, <laughs> how long had it been since you had seen her? Well, neither one of us could remember, which I think is a sign that it's, it's been, a, it's it's been, been a, while. a while. Or both of you have bad memories. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so, like, since you were in the... I think since then. Since then? Yeah. And do you remember, like, what's your, what's your memory of her? What was your first impression? I remember uh, when we first got to the show, they, they sort of had all the, the kids perform for one another. And... It was sort of, I remember it was Christina Aguilera and then, and then Britney performed and I remember thinking, oh, okay, so they're like freakishly talented, <laughs> you know? Yeah. It was like, you know, there was, I was used to working with talented uh, people, but that was another, another level. And then what did you do for your talent when they finished? Did you sing? Did you dance? What'd you do? I think I was just like, I'm Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, good, yeah, just. That's plenty. That's all you need. Um, I want to hear about the story because I saw a picture of you in a beekeeper's outfit. So your mother <laughs> got married yeah. in Italy, yeah. and somehow uh, there was there were bees at the wedding. The 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 place where we were made their own honey, mm -hmm. and for some reason, um, at lunch the the bees decided they were going to take it back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so there were just like a hundred bees at the table, just just trying to take that honey back, which was hard to blame them for. It yes. was hard to make it. So wh how do you happen to have a bee outfit? <laughs> how does that, you, do you bring that to dinner with you in case there are bees or? No, well, I thought, you know, they, if, they, if they make honey here, there has to be a, a, an outfit. <laughs> so uh, I found it and I, 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 I was able to safely remove the bees. What did you do? I just moved the honey to a safer area. Yeah. You know, but it was, uh, it was, uh, I paid for it later because they were all, they were kind of on my mask and I thought, I had a strong feeling they were just getting a good look at me. Yeah, like, is that Ryan Gosling? Like... <laughs> no, it's like they wanted, is this the bee man? Like they were finally seeing, you know, this, this person that had, uh, you know, uh, you know, been, 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 I hope keeping them well, but anyway, they were dive bombing me for the rest of the trip. Oh, I, they recognized barely... you. You're thinking the bees were on your face and then they... They were like, yes, and I felt like there was... <laughs> They were passing out tiny sketches of me or something, because no matter <laughs> where I went in Italy, I was just getting dive-bombed by, by Italian bees. Yeah. They have, like, a, a, like a, a 50 eyes or something, so they probably like pictures of you, like 50 of you. <laughs> <laughs> like, have you seen that guy? Um, all right, we have to take a break. Uh, okay. More with Ryan after this. But, so you were here last time. You, were, you were, uh, did uh, Mary Poppins, and now you're yeah. doing another musical for Disney, right? Not a musical. Oh. It's, a, it's Jungle Cruise. It's a, it's a big action adventure. Oh, wow. Yes. That's great. Your kids yes. have to like that. Well, you'd think. I think my kids um, like every Disney movie that I'm, apart from the ones that I'm in. Wow. I actually heard the other night, John said to Violet, um, do you, do you want to watch a movie? She goes, yeah, Mary Poppins. And he goes, do you want to watch <laughs> Mommy's Mary Poppins or Julie Andrews? And I heard her go, no, no, Julie Andrews, Julie Andrews. <laughs> and I was like, Panic. down the corridor, and I went, wow. <laughs> wow. Gosh. That's... Do they like when you sing? Is that no? Who? Oh, no, not not really. No. But you're a good singer, and you you don't like oh. to sing, and yet every time you're here, you sing. We kind <laughs> oh, of make what you. It is. I don't know why you make me sing every time. Yeah. Well, one time um, we made you sing and then scared you. No, that was awful. That, that was, was awful. really awful. Yeah, I but... think it's maybe that because I suffer so much rejection of my singing at home that I don't mind doing it here. You right. Know? We made you dress up. You had just become oh, that a citizen. Was so bad. And we made you sing and then <laughs> scared you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was 
was particularly awful. Yeah. That one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's us. Yeah. Um, I sang with the I sang with the Backstreet Boys. Yes, which and was then a you dream sang. Dream with... come true. Yes. Oh, Ellen! I'm oh, talking high pitch because I'm so excited. Uh, I'm excited to meet you. This is your first time on the show, and uh, I'm I'm so happy. I wish you were here in person, but but you're there, and Thank I you. I love that you have a hashtag Stop Asian Hate behind you. Good for you. Everybody should have a hashtag Stop Asian Hate. Um, so we just talked to John Cena, and you're filming with him right now in Vancouver, right? Yes, I am. I'm getting to know John Cena very well. Yeah, you're working long. He, he's he's yes, a but- He's a hard worker. Yes, he really is. Um, We're doing Peacemaker together with James Dunn. And I actually did get a sneak peek of Suicide Squad as well. It's so good. Um, So that's been cool. But I've been trying to get John to train me a little bit, too, because, I mean, it's John Cena. If you're doing a show with John Cena, you might as well get him to teach you some things. I mean, he's, he is an inspirational guy. And, uh, yeah, you had a baby. You're on the cover of Parents Magazine, right? Yes. There, there's your baby. baby <laughs> What's your baby's your name? Her name is Freya. 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 And how is she? Yes. Is she a good one? Oh, she's amazing. She is just so smart. Oh, there she is. I'm just, I'm just in love with her. She's just so spunky. She, like, she went to the grocery store the, yesterday, and from what I hear, she was just surrounded by everybody because she was like blowing kisses and being Miss Personality. Uh, but she's just super sweet and just that little angel. That's so, I love her so much. That's so sweet. Baby freak. I heard uh, you're working long days on the set. You made a big purchase for yourself and, and y- something that you want to talk to me about. I said I have been really, because I'm also getting married. Congratulations. And I've been trying to lose baby Thank you. <laughs> we tried to lose this baby weight, so I got one of those personal signs. Oh, <laughs> Now, do you walk around in that, or do you have to stay still? <laughs> uh, I stay still. I stay still. Um, but I, I feel like a difference. I do feel like a difference. I don't know how much of a difference, but... I've got everything. I actually got like a mini trampoline that I purchased, like jump rope, like I'm going for it. So it's been a lot of fun though. Yeah, Uh, the trampoline is really good for you. It's good for like your lymphatic system or something. Uh, I have one of those mini trampolines as well. Yeah, (laughs) exactly. I'm putting some weight lifting in. That's right. It's all (laughs) in. And there it goes. It's so, well. Yeah. <laughs> and it's great too because I mentioned uh, the film. It's, it's such a small film. You can count on me, and people know the film. It was yes. such a good yes, movie. Thank you. Yeah. And it, yeah, beautiful. And if you don't know it, go rent it right away because uh, it, it is such a. Beautiful. It's, it's a beautiful film, yeah. Yes. Do I smell like skunk? No, did you hold no. it? I tried to, to that, I think it thought I was trying to mate with it. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, they'll let you know right away, yeah, too. Yeah, they, they, I heard that. Yeah. yeah. But they, you might want to get I one. I have of... them at my house, too. Do you really? Yeah. Do you live in the hills? Yeah. Yeah, it's and sad, and they have nowhere to go now. No, no. And, and so, do they stink up your yard, yes, too? Yes, they do. <laughs> but, they're, they're stinky. Yeah, they're <laughs> They're stinky little, animals. Little animals. And but do you they, have a dog? They're cute, and I have a dog, and she, yes, did get sprayed. She does. And that she... recipe doesn't work. No. <laughs> oh, you tried it? Well, you don't know which one she said. No, she no, I don't. Yeah. No, no, no. But I, I... I thought I knew one, but it's... Yeah. And did your, they usually do get sprayed right in the face. Did, did yours get in the oh, face? Oh, yes, yes, and she was... <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a horrible it's thing. It, it's it really is. And it never goes... I mean, the smell lasts for, for years. I mean, it just... <laughs> I mean... Now you're exaggerating. No, yeah. 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 But it does I, I did learn to speak when I was uh, 16. Yeah, yeah. Because you have a little, you have a... I have a two and a half year old. Yeah. And, and is your two, two and a half year old, what's your, your, your kid's name is Keen? Keen, that's K-E-E-N. A, that's a good name. Yeah, he's... How'd you find that name? Um, we had a hard time because um, we, we were called by the, um, 
the people who tell you you have to name your kid in a certain amount of time. The, the, oh, there's a committee? Yes, the birth certificate uh, committee. Uh-huh. And uh, it had been two weeks since he was born. And uh, they said, well, you have to name your kid today by four, otherwise we're going to name him Baby Boy Ruffalo. Oh. <laughs> then he would have been a rapper. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so we went back to the 10,000 names book, you know, and... Uh, Did you have any ready at all? Well, we, we tried Rudy, we tried Clyde, we tried Romeo, we tried um, oh, Mark, and none of them seemed to fit him. Oh, I was gonna, he didn't answer to any of no, them. No, no, so, he wanted yeah. his odd. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So uh, two weeks went by, and uh, finally uh, they called, and they said, you, you have till 4 o'clock today to name your kid. So I ran to the dictionary, and I just started looking at nouns, mostly. Uh -huh. It'd be hard to, on him to name him a verb. Right. I think it'd just be, <laughs> yeah. it'd just be yes. you know, it'd be too much to live up to. Running baby boy. Yes, yes. yes. running. Yes. Yes. And, um, and, and I came to Keene, and, and it fit him so beautifully because uh, there, there was a, like a strong intellectual presence uh, and also a, uh, a mournful wailing, <laughs> which he did a lot of. <laughs> Well, it worked out fine then. Yeah, it really did. Yeah. We're, 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 he's peachy. When, when, uh, when in doubt, open a dictionary. Yes, uh, it's yeah. not a bad place to go. And peachy would have been a good name, too, it would have been. by the way. You have kids. I do. How, how old are they now? Uh, Charlie's seven, and Kit had just turned four last week. Mm. Oh, he isn't four. He's turning four in a week, but we had the party already. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't tell him. But is that what happens in showbiz? You celebrate a week early? Yes, yes. <laughs> and what, what kind of birthday party did Kit have? Uh, well, it, you know, there was this freak rainstorm that happened. We'd organized it for the beach, and uh, it, it just started pouring down with rain, and so I was running around trying to figure out what we were going to do, and we found a room inside, you know, where they could be, and we brought in, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Incredible and the balloon lady and all the stuff, and um, there, there were these two sets of stairs, and basically the kids, all they did was go up and down the stairs. <laughs> it was like, this is the best party we've ever had. They just went up and down the stairs and around, and that was it. They didn't care about the Incredibles or anything? No, no, they, find, they finally got into that, but uh -huh. it couldn't compete with the stairs. Yeah. yeah. Funny how that is. I always think that's so weird, because people here do have huge parties for their kids, and, and really, do they... It, it, it turns out they well, just we want... like it. Yeah, <laughs> you did it for yourself. We do it. Yeah, we do it for ourselves. A little drinking and cake and all uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> so there was alcohol at the party. You're saying? Um, you know, it's funny. I can't even remember. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it funny how that is? Do you remember the, the first, I don't know if you know if this was Jody, but the first thing she did, she was the little girl in the Coppertone commercial. Yeah. Uh, this, is, this is the commercial. Oh, <laughs> you have it. Don't be a pale face, use Coppertone. <laughs> Get the fastest tan that anyone can. Tan, don't burn, get a Coppertone tan. No. <laughs> they tried to get the dog to pull down my pants over and over and over again, but there was he was not doing it. <laughs> so they just had to, you know, cut to the advertisement. To the animation? Yeah. Pretty How would they try to get the dog to pull down? You're, as a little girl, you're standing there, and they're trying to they're encourage... Like, yeah, yeah, they put, you know, treats in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, was, I will say this, though. You, the original Coppertone girl on, the, on all of the posters had a top on. She had a little bikini top, and I refused to wear the bikini top, and I had a little tantrum, and... It was on a houseboat, and my mom wanted to throw me off the houseboat. And, but um, so now the Coppertone girl doesn't have a, a bikini top. So it's kind of a revolution. So you started the whole yes, thing. Yes, I did. The, the topless, right. topless I, suntan girl. Does she still have treats in her pants? <laughs> I'm sure she does. <laughs> I'm sure she does. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to continue uh, in that line. Of all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. These, I'm looking at everything today that you've been in, and uh, it's just incredible. Taxi Driver, some of these yeah. films that uh, The Accused, The uh, yep. Silence of the Lamb. Yeah. Nell. Nell. Um, and uh, Panic Room. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, do you have a favorite film that you've... Um, um, I, I think the, the best movie I've been in maybe was Taxi Driver or Silence of the Lambs, but I, I like Nell. I think it's the best performance I've given. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> 
Thank you. Because you. you just have to be so free and yeah, just uh, it's a whole thing I had to learn about myself in order to play it. And uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I live in the real world where it's unsafe to be like Nell, and I just was never had the opportunity or the privilege to really um, experience the world that way. So it mm -hmm. was, a, it was a big one for me. Yeah, that's how I am when I go home every uh -huh. night, like Nell. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> little tay in the way. Yeah. <laughs> I actually did. We I, heard that. I heard that. Did you see that I did that on the I show? Did, no, I, I, you know, I, I live not too far from you, so yeah. <laughs> occasionally I walk by and I'm uh, like, oh, tay that's in the just wind. not. <laughs> um, all right. 